Thanks, Rick. I'd like to thank all of our members for being here tonight. You know, it's a smaller crowd, um, and we understand things change, and uh, everyone has different ways of getting information, and we're working with that. But frankly, 2015 was quite a year for your cooperatives. For those who are here, I'm very pleased to be able to share this information. But before we start with my report, I'd like to have a safety moment. Golden Valley starts every meeting with a safety moment. So it makes sense to have, do it here as well. Tonight, I want to stress the importance of staying 10 feet or more away from power lines. We have a couple of 15-second spots that drives home this safety message. Summertime comes into full swing, be aware of power lines. They are dangerous. If you see a down power line, don't go near it. Call Golden Valley and we'll respond quickly. 2016 is a year for moving forward, but also for looking back. It's our 70th year of serving the interior of Alaska. Golden Valley was founded in 1946 to bring electric power to the areas outside the Fairbanks core area. We bought our first megawatt from the gold mining FE company, which operated a power plant on Illinois Street. With gold mining in decline after World War II, the FE company was more than happy to sell us some excess power at more than a dollar kilowatt hour in today's dollars. In 1952, Golden Valley bought the FE company's 9.5 megawatt plant and began generating our own power. GVA saw an opportunity to benefit the interior of Alaska with an eye towards the future providing greater reliability and reasonable rates. Now, 70 years later, we are still adding gen new generation sources, still making improvements to our service, and still investing in technologies that can improve our reliability and lower or stabilize our rates and or provide enhanced customer service. That's what tonight's brief presentation is about how your member-owned cooperative is an energy provider for the interior of Alaska that enhances the quality of life for its members and is an economic engine for the communities it serves. Let's start talking about reliability. Our numbers are good. Do you remember September 29th, 2015? Hunting season had just ended. School classes had just started for the fall and it was a balmy 33 degrees when 11 and a half inches of snow blanketed Fairbanks, setting an all-time September daily snow record. Most of the birch and aspen trees still had their leaves, and the heavy, wet snow bent these trees into our power lines. Once more, our crews, along with crews of the other rail belt utilities, worked around the clock for a whole week to restore power to all members. I can't thank the membership enough for all their kind words recognizing our crew is hard work. It's hard to be without power, isn't it? And we can't change the weather, but we can be better prepared. We're making some changes here at Golden Valley that will help us respond more quickly when outages do occur. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in a few minutes. There are a couple of really important ways you can help us, though. First, when you see one of our crews out working in the right of way, please grant them access to their job. To explain this, I'm gonna play a radio spot that you may have heard. In the old cowboy movies, the good guys always wore white hats. When it comes to keeping your lights on, the good guys wear hard hats. Help Golden Valley Electric Association keep the power on by granting access to the rights of way on your property. Our good guys need clear access to power lines, especially during outages. If they're delayed by objects in the right-of-way or an unwilling or angry property owner, it takes longer to restore everyone's power. Right-of-ways blocked by fences, abandoned cars, equipment or debris can create unsafe conditions for GVEA linemen, especially in the dark or during bad weather. 
and if you've got a locked gate across a right-of-way, you're required to allow GPEA to put a second lock on the gate so our crews can access the lines. So if you see a person in a hard hat working near your power lines, it's probably one of our good guys. A message from Golden Valley Electric Association. We also have right-of-way clearing crews in the field every summer, and they're out there right now. These employees keep vegetation and trees trimmed back so they don't come into contact with power lines and cause outages. This year, we have staffed up with an additional crew and added additional funds in the budget for clearing by contractors. We understand that the weather conditions in Fairbanks are changing a little bit, and a more aggressive right-of-way clearing is going to be necessary. So again, please, if you see our good guys in hard hats working on the right-of-way, grant them a wide berth to do their job. They're just trying to keep the lights on. Finally, I'd like to invite every one of you to attend the 2016 Fairbanks Area Preparedness Expo at the Carlson Center this September. GVA will have a booth there to show our members how to safely hook up backup generators. Nobody likes power outages, but being well prepared will make all the difference. Now, I told you we are planning to up our game when it comes to outage response. Let's revisit a short video we produced for last year's annual meeting. Alan Gray is going to tell you about our new outage management system that has been deployed. We have a completely new control system coming in in 2016. We've outgrown the system we've had now for the last 15 years, and in computer terms, 15 years is an eternity. The new system will continue all of the functionality the old one does, but it will also start to add in outage management functionality that we don't have. We'll be able to handle the big outages better, more efficiently, and get people on faster. The old management system, we are very reliant on the human interaction to get information in to find out where the outages were. The new system will have a more automated system. It'll be able to handle a higher call volume. There's been problems in the past of our trunks getting filled up and not being able to talk to our members. That should be alleviated. We'll have automated systems for developing group and grouping outages together so we have a better feel for where to put our manpower and get the right groups of people to the right outages faster and more efficiently. We'll be able to look at a map and, and tell which areas are out graphically instead of just by lists of streets and addresses. The new outage management system will allow the ability to integrate new technologies in for automatically reporting outages, but it'll also allow more information to flow out to our members as far as, you know, web interfaces and apps on your phone. Someday you may be able to just look at your smartphone and it'll tell you whether the power is on or off at your house. Yeah, the new technologies will allow us to more efficiently manage the outages, get the right people to the right outages quicker and it'll allow better feedback to the members as to what's going on, how long they're going to be out, and what to expect from Golden Valley.